Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today we're going to talk some more about intersecting pipes. So we have done a video or two about this. Um, the interesting thing about intersecting pipes is that pipe models themselves can be solids, right? And they usually are. They're, they're, they are in and of themselves manifold solids, so you can use things like solid tools on them. The issue comes in that when you connect or overlap to solids and you use solid tools on them, there's parts in the void that end up being left behind. So it's not super simple and straightforward. Um, but I came up during one of our live models with a kind of a quicker, easier way, fewer steps to actually intersect two pipes. And we're taking a look at how that works right now. All right, so just to, to demonstrate what I was talking about here, uh, I have this and this. I'm just going to triple click, make this a group, uh, triple click, make this a group. So now each of these groups are solid, solid group, solid group. So what I would normally do here with the solid is take this one, I'm going to slide it in. I'm going to slide until I hit that middle point right there. And then with normal solids, I could take those and I could do something like, let's just take this one and we'll say, uh, come in and we're going to trim that. Let's so just trim. Let's trim, uh, trim that to this one. And what happens is, okay, that one worked okay because we got this piece. So I could come in here and I could grab this and I could delete this piece out. Kind of, that kind of worked. It was close. Uh, the bigger problem happens when we go the other way in if I take this one and trim this one. See, this, this is what I'm talking about is see the overlap, no matter which way we cut one or the other, we always end up with this extra geometry. So this is why it's not quite as straightforward as we'd like it to be, basically. Um, if I take this back over here, uh, I can't, unfortunately, again, this is the struggle, is now I can take this and I can say, grab these inside and outside, intersect this face with the model, and that'll break that so I could come in here, delete all these pieces out, and then like this, something like this, and then we'll get rid of this piece out here. And then when I'm done, I'll have these two pieces directly overlapping each other, but delete that, delete these, delete this. All right, and now if I look at this one, I'd come in here and I got to get rid of this, this, this. Uh, let's see how that works. So that comes pretty close to covering it up. Um, I, it's it's a mess, right? So it's it's not difficult. It's just a bunch of extra steps. I explode these, join together, reverse faces, blah, blah, blah. Not the way I want to spend my time when I do this. So. Like I was saying, during our live model, uh, we were modeling a part of a bicycle, uh, the top of the frame where the handlebars come through, and it's made of two pipes intersecting in a T. And I realized that there's a quicker way. So what I ended up doing was just this. So I'm going to take this first pipe. I want it to intersect the same way. I'm going to grab the inside and just delete. Just double, all I did was double click on the inside. That grabs the inside face plus the edges that form the top and bottom, hit delete, and I'm back to just a cylinder. Same thing here, double click, delete. And I am going to triple click, make group, triple click, make group. Again, just like I did before, I'm gonna intersect. So I'm gonna pull this across until it hits that middle piece. So this is just perfectly uh, overlapping right in the middle. And I'll take both of these, and I'll just use solid tools union or outer shell, either one, does the same thing in this case. Uh, and there we go. So if I look at x-ray, this is just two cylinders intersecting. Perfect, easy, awesome. Now I gotta make them tubes. So doing the, the inside tube afterwards, this is where it saves me time. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna offset uh, two. I'm gonna pull this down to the bottom. All right, pretty simple, pretty easy. Do the same thing here, offset here, double click, do the same out. Now. Here's, here's the fun part, because here's where I could have even more time saver. Depending on what I'm using this model for, uh, in the case of the, the bicycle, 
I really just needed this to be through. I had another tube coming in here and something dropping through here. This would have been enough. I don't actually need, in some cases, this circle, this inside face to carry through and cut into this inside face. In a lot of cases, that might be it. I might be done. So that versus just figuring out how to get these two to even intersect, I'm already finished. Now, in the case that I do actually want that to come through, if this is a, a T pipe or something like that, where I actually need uh, the, the holes to come through, or maybe I'm 3D printing this as a connector, whatever the reason, if I do need this to go through, not a big deal. It's still less work than what I did before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use push pull again. I'm gonna bring it all the way through to the middle here so that this should tie in right to the end there, edge, perfect. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a group select so I get this face, this face, and of course this face, and I'm gonna grab this face right here. So all the pieces that should intersect, I'm gonna select them all, right click and say, intersect face with selection. And now it's just a matter of cleanup. If I delete this edge and this edge, and I select this and delete it, I now have two pipes that completely tie together. I don't know why this isn't a thought that immediately came to me. I guess I just had to do, sometimes you just gotta do the painful thing and, and spend time hurting yourself on something before you figure out that there's a more elegant, elegant, easy way. But this cuts the steps in half, literally half the step, probably, probably less than half the steps uh, by doing it this way. Um, the reason, again, the reason this is an issue is because those solid pipes are solid on the outside, voids inside of a space don't subtract from uh, Boolean operations. So I end up with chunks left over. Not a big deal, pretty easy to, to take care of this way. Uh, like I said, not something I thought of before, but definitely a quicker, easier way to intersect than what we were doing uh, with trying to use solid tools and then cleaning up afterwards. So, a simple trick, yeah, but something to think about. And again, we did this with pipes because I don't know why pipes come up a lot. You guys ask a lot of questions about pipes on YouTube. I'm not sure what the reason is, but we just got a lot of pipe modelers out there and that's cool. Do your thing. Um, but the, this is something that could be considered for other Boolean or, or solid tool uh, intersections. If you're intersecting geometries where you have voids in them, solid or hollow pieces inside, uh, it's something to think about. Does that solid piece need to exist before you do the intersection? Do these solid pieces need to intersect and cross over each other? Do I actually need to worry about that kind of stuff? Think about that as you do this, because uh, it might save you some time and some energy to add those openings, those, vo those voids, after the fact, rather than before trying to intersect the main sections. So, uh, yeah. Check that out. Let me know what you think of that. Is there, is there other cases where you've run into this sort of thing? Let me know about that. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Have you run into this? Are you one of the pipe guys who've asked questions before? Let me know what you think of this. Or if you have another idea that you think would make a good video for us, let us know about that too. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.